Hi peeps, it's Tess back on old squat box once again and I'm talking about the minimum wage. Seems to be a bit of controversy about paying people for work, you know. You don't see any bankers complaining that you no know, Oh my God, I only got no 1.5 million pound bonus this year on top of my 350,000 pound fucking wages. Or any CEO or Coke player saying, you know, oh my God, I only made 1.2 billion dollars this year, you know what I mean? Uh, even as much as I pay my lawyers to, you know, avoid paying tax, I still have to pay, you know, 9% tax. Oh my God, I'm so fucking oppressed by, you know, the nation, you know. Uh, you don't see that shit going on, you know. But the, the whole thing is, when you've got somebody on a low wage who works hard, 40, 50, 60 hours a week, and still can't put fucking food on their table, well, what does that say about your nation? What does that say about your economy, because let's face it, it's the people at the low end of the economy who actually buy most of the shit you're selling. You know? I mean, you've got 310 or 320 million people in America, they're not all buying yachts, I guarantee you, but 290 million of them are buying toasters, they're buying t-shirts, they're buying jeans, you know, they're buying that shitty crappy fucking noodle fucking soup you put in a tin in your supermarkets. The millionaires aren't buying that shit, you know what I mean? They're, they're dining out on lobster and steak. They're not eating grits. <laughs> they're not eating noodles, you know. Fuck that, you know. They can spend their money on better shit, you know. But look at all the noodle houses, you know, the burger houses, you know, the fucking Kentucky fried chicken houses, you know. Do you think the millionaires are fucking buying food out of that? Who's keeping those places open? It's the people who work 40, 50 and 60 hours a week to, admit, to earn a minimum wage. Raising their income by, you know, I don't know, 20, 25 percent. Shit, you're going to have a booming economy. Booming economy. Raising your CEOs and your, your New York City fucking you know, high floating bankers, stockbrokers, you're raising their wages by 25%, which you've been doing every fucking year for about 30 years. That doesn't make the economy grow. They don't spend that money. It's invested. They buy land, property. They invest overseas. They buy stocks and bonds and diamonds and gold and they stick it in a fucking security box that nobody ever sees till they die and then you open it up and find out what they've got. Not only ordinary working people, that's where you need to put your money. You need to raise the average wage of the average man in order for the average man to buy the average shit that every average store is selling. That's how you make an economy go round. Money doesn't make the world go round. It's average people that make the, make the economy go round, you know, the world go round through the shitty wage they get. So you raise their wage by 25%, you're going to boost the economy by about 30 or 40%. Because they'll be spending money almost immediately paying off their de debts, uh, you know, paying the debts of their kids, buying all that shit they don't need to put in their backyard, 
know, that's that's what an economy is. I mean, who doesn't have a fucking shed or a loft or a fucking backyard full of shit that you, you wanted and thought you needed at the time, but now it just sits there and you use it once a fucking year. If you're lucky, you use it once a year. But most of the time when you come across it, go, why the fuck did I buy that? I'm sure it was a real good idea for me buying that lump of shit that's just sitting there rusting in the backyard, but you know, I can't give it, you know, I just, you know, can't think of why I bought it, you know, and the wife's on your back because you bought, you know, two fucking, you know, barbecues when you only need one, and you're wondering how about all these extra dresses and shoes she buys and all that kitchen fucking equipment she never uses because she doesn't cook but she buys all that brilliant cooking equipment you know and, but you know but she never uses it it just sits there like ordnance you know you know like art in a fucking you know artistic fucking place you know <laughs> I mean, you know in, in an artistic you know like, like paintings hanging on the wall you know you buy them to look at them and then you never look at them because you're too busy running around trying to find other shit to put in your walls to look at or other blenders to stick in a cupboard you know how I many times have you gone into a cupboard to look for something and you find all this shit that you remembered buying but you've got no idea why you bought it because you've never used it juicers you know um, you know blenders you know dough makers <laughs> <laughs> the, the fucking the non fat fat fryer, all that shit. You, you, you've all bought it, it's all in cupboards in your kitchen, and you've not got a fucking clue how to use it. And you would never use it anyway because, you know, it, it makes food taste like shit when you do use it. So, why did you buy it in the first place? Because some guy on the TV with a shirt and a tie on told you this is what you need. You need this excellent piece of kitchen equipment. And your wife talks to you, you know, just like when you say to your wife, oh no, I need these rims, if if I don't have these rims on my car, my car's going to look like shit and everybody will laugh at me. And you buy the rims and you find they don't fit your tyres and then they just get stored in the garage and then you've, you've spent like no $400 on rims that don't fit your car because you know, there's 20 inch rims and your fucking car tyres are only only fucking no 18 inch it's just so it doesn't fit and it's like yeah you're wasting another 480 fucking dollars you know what I mean so yeah if you only had 20% or 25% more income you could afford to leave that shit hanging about the garage until you do a fucking garage sale and then some wanker down the road will buy it half you and store it in his garage and then at least you've got more room for more shit in your garage that's the way the world works Am I getting through to you? That's <sighs> why you fucking got a motherfuckers Republican wankers. Increase the minimum wage. I'm just dying to see how the British people are going to deal with that over the next two or three years when Cameron starts doing exactly the same shit that Thatcher and Reagan your mother fucking stupid congress does to you I can't wait for Scotland to vote for independence we want the fuck away for that shit you know so I'm you fucking bra motherfuckers <laughs>